Hi, uh, my name is James Hyman. And I'm here to talk about the uh, Shamanic Weekend that we're going to be doing January 9th, 10th, and 11th in Desert Hot Springs and up in Joshua Tree. We're going to be using some very ancient uh, ecstatic postures. Astrologically, really, in a nice place and time to do this work up in the desert. We'll actually, be working around the full moon, which will be interesting. It's a place that feels sacred to me, although the whole, all the land is sacred. The desert itself, I think the other day when we were up there working, and I was working with the uh, postures of, of calling in spirit. One of the things that happened to me afterwards as I was kind of walking, doing a little walkabout through the desert, that's something that I have people do, is we're just sort of meandering, we know which way the direction the car is in, and then people have permission to just walk around, you know, not in any particular direction, not looking for anything, but being very, very hyper aware. And one of the things that I noticed, I connected with an energy I'd never connected before. I never, I looked at the moon and it was like in the afternoon. So the moon was sitting up there in this blue sky. And I just asked this question, started pondering that from the standpoint of the mystery. Something much deeper entered into me, a much deeper reverence, a much deeper sense of sacredness. Probably something more akin to that which I would have experienced as an indigenous person long before there was science. And all there was was the great mystery, and all there was was ceremony and ritual and our relationship, you know, as, as uh, men and women and how we related, you know, to the, the unseen world of spirit. And so this work allows us in this 21st century, in the midst of all this technology, to also come back and reconnect with our innate experience of the earth and of the great mystery and the mystery itself, letting yourself let go into this, just holding this posture. These postures from different cultures, indigenous cultures all over the world, some of them, few of them contemporary, some of them going back as far as 30,000 years. When you're working out in nature, when you're working in a place that is a power spot, maybe a power spot to you personally, like this place is up uh, here in Joshua Tree, what happens when you're working in nature, you're working with the natural feng shui. You're working with the natural flow of chi that's in the land. Uh, and what this does is, you know, we have all this memory in us, especially if we've been doing this work and we start, you know, holding, say, a posture of the divinator, we're holding these different postures, we're calling in our own ancestral wisdom. And we all, with the fact that we're here on the earth, we all have a, a long ancestral line that goes all the way back to the beginning of time. We may not know directly ex exactly how to access at this point that, but that's part of what we just have to call the ancestral energy in, and it will speak to us because the ancestral energy is about keeping the species moving and flowing forward through whatever comes to the planet. So because we're living in such a powerful and transformational and, and uh, in some ways disturbing, at least to the mind, or can be disturbing, this time we live in, our shamanism, this practice of shamanism today, uh, is really about tapping into those inner resources that are a part of our natural, uh, our natural being, our innateness that goes back to the beginning of time, and accessing those through, through the ancient ways, through drum, through rattle, through through smoke, through ritual, through prayer, through being on the earth, and through holding these sacred postures that open up these doorways, so that the work happens. We don't have to do the work. We don't have to understand how the work is going to be done. We just have to know, I want healing, I want peace, I want love, I want uh, prosperity and abundance. I, I want a greater vision, you know, of a world that's living by these principles of peace and healing. And spirit can show us the way. Spirit will show us the way. Spirit is showing us the way.